You want him out a little more on that first pitch of the game? You can see how you feel when you get out there too. I just I think that based on the low walk totals and the fact that he's aggressive anyway, he's gonna go hacking at that first one. So if you're gonna get it out there, just expect him to hit it back to you. Waiting the 2-0, turns to Bunt. Still has the bat squared up. Now pulls it's a good the bat pitch. pitch in high for ball three. The ball's right down the middle of the it's a good pitch. Sam Reddy on the way. The 0-2 slider swung on a missed strike three. Here comes the full count pitch. Swung on a missed strike three. Got him with a breaking pitch. Everybody for Sam right here. Let's go, Doug. That's fast. All, they've all been fast away. Suzak looks into Nate Yeski to get the pitch count. And the sign relays it to give you the O. Starts to wind up from the stretch, comes home, and the pitch outside. The runner breaks to third, the throw down the bat, in time, and they got him at third base. Thrown out at third is Lance Renneke as Suzak guns down another runner this year, and that'll end the inning in the first. You got those down or out? He's tight, he's just tight, man. Tight, just tell him, hey man, this guy's well. I said, I said he's, he's that type of pitcher. No, 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 I would just remind him when you go out and say, hey man, I just, I'm trying to help you out because our fans are gonna get a little hostile. It, this guy's walked two guys all year. Two. Just bullshit him. Tell him he's walked two. So I'm just going to tell you, wherever I put my glove, he's going to throw it tonight. So I'm telling you, trying to help you. Was that a delay? The only thing I can think of is that. Hey, boy, Sammy, wait a whole tight on him. We go wheel. Shouldn't that infielder just go on the guy when he lifts his foot anyway? Okay. That way we can fight him. Yeah. Don't give in. Don't give in. He'll come around. Once you keep throwing more and more there, he'll come around and he'll start going. That last guy, he's the guy that if you go change on him or any type of off speed, throw in the dirt. Throw it in the dirt. He breaks posture so bad that all we're going to do is a favor if we throw him off speeds for strikes. So if we go change or something, go out of the zone so that he chases that, and you saw how bad he breaks down, we just zip him on the inner half. Good job. Sam, a perfect 4-0 record on the year. His sixth start, 22nd start of his career. The 1-2, fanned out and missed, and White goes down swinging. And Gavidio fans Palermo for the second out here in the second inning, his fourth consecutive strikeout. The wind up, here comes the 2-2. Took a little off of it. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Gavidio strikes out the order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. The Beavers nothing. UC Santa Barbara nothing. It's much more efficient. I like those better in the first inning. I think we're just gonna stay. I think we're just gonna stay fastball aggressive, especially with the bottom of the order that side. Just keep running it out there. With your breaking ball, let's think down more than out, because they dive so much to cover that side that until you offer and get them going down, they'll never have to go out with that stuff. So just think down more than out. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, hit to the right side, past the diving Ryan Barnes into right field. Rounding second is Haddo on his way to third. Norris's throw comes into second and received by Dunn. And the Gauchos with one out here in the fourth have runners on the edges. Time called as Nate Yeski will make a trip to the mound for the Beavers and talk things over. All right, stay down the bottom. Don't give in just because it might start getting a little bit tight. Okay, I would expect action at some point, switch those out because they're writing them down. I would expect action at some point as far as push to score, maybe something crazy. Just understand this guy over here don't run very well and this guy runs a lot better at third. So I just think they want to try to break the ice a little bit. So be ready to bounce. Okay, we'll run a 31 right here, right out of the chute. If you want, go ahead and set up in on this so they give a 30 call. And then that way when he runs that 31, this guy will think he's getting something in her half. Okay. Locate down and away hey, to get that 6 4 3. Susan, Susan, we'll go. From the stretch, the 2 2 again. Change up, swung on, hit in the air to left. This is going to score a run back toward the wall. And making the catch, slamming against the wall is Barnsey. Tagging at third, coming home is Haddow. The Gauchos taking 1 0 lead. But Sam Gavidio will get a, and it should be a standing ovation indeed. 41 consecutive scoreless innings 
and nearly tying the NCAA record. And Beaver Nation applauds the accomplishment by Sam Gavilio. Runner at first. Two out, 3-2 three, pitch, looked at, called, strike three as Gavilio gets him with a slider. The scoreless consecutive inning streak snap after three and a half. It's UC Santa Barbara one, the Beavers nothing. When that guy keeps swinging and swinging and swinging like that, I know you're not trying to elevate it, but yeah. I mean, especially if he was breaking posture to cover that outer half so bad. That's why we went in a couple of times. Well, you can't try so hard. You've got to set your sights lower. Because every time you try to crank that slider, yeah, and that's the that's the nature of that damn pitch for everybody. The harder you try to throw it, the less it breaks. So if you're going to try to power it, set your sights lower and let him go to work back there and block that thing up. Hey, okay? you glad you got all those innings out of your way now? You going to get back to pitching? Hey, sing another one, baby. Here you go. Tell you what, when you go 30 some innings and you don't leave it up, it's pretty hard to complain about one. 40 something. Whatever it was, it's pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Drew a walk in his first at bat, drives this one into the seam into right center field. Renneke won't get it, the center fielder, neither will the right fielder. Pato, it'll go to the wall. Hayes will sprint and stand going into second with a leadoff double. The one strike pitch to him from Jesse Moe, swung on, lashed into left center field for a base hit. Rounding third is Danny Hayes. The big unit will come in to score. The Beavers have tied it on the RBI single. Fake dig. Yeah. Yeah. Great at bat. Bell fights Great the 3-2 pitch yeah. off. Great at bat. Let's go, Kev. <laughs> the pitch on the way, swung on line to the right side, base hit. Carter Bell to third. He's being held up as the throw, one hop into the plate. Help on picks, gonna be looking for outs. Hop on! Go, buddy, on out! Go, Ryan, up, kid! Hold your ground, Carter, gonna be looking for outs. Three two pitch. Fastball, low ball four. The Beavers will take a two to one lead on the bases loaded walk to Ryan Barnes. Great at bat, Hoser. <laughs> nice. Pretty nice, eh? I like it, eh? Runners at first and second, the one strike pitch swung on, hit up the middle, base hit. Wheeling around third, coming across the score is Michael Miller. The Beavers lead it four to one. Attaboy, Andy! Usually when I've used up all my fastballs in this location, then I'll switch them. We got about 50 of these. I don't know why people continue to write them down, because as soon as we use them up, we'll just get new ones. Andrew, what sheet do you have? What sheet do you have? Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Dunn flips to Kevin Kimes, the relay to Norris in time. Double play ball. Going to the bottom of the sixth. Beavers four. You see Santa Barbara two. You got one more in you? Let's do it right then. Get uh, Bryant and Boyd on the bike, and then when Sammy goes out, get them going. He's at 90. I want them both within 15. Thanks. What do you got? You want an extra catcher? You sure you weren't ordering a pizza? Yeah. No, those are coming. Oh, okay. My boy. Just do your little smile. Skip me the dance. Matt, I'll give you ten dollars if you do it. You won't. You do a good dance. The truffle shuffle? You won't. You won't. Not getting in unless you do it. Do it. Truffle shuffle. <laughs> private eyes only. Private eyes only. And the three one on the way, in and the hands lifted in to right center, drifting over, and now going back, it's going to drop for a base hit, extra base hit. The three-one offering out over the plate, lifted into center. Renicky starts back. Now comes forward. It's going to fall for a base hit. Back. Just going to say they got good 31 moves, man. Every sidecar guy has a good 31 move. Just because it's the natural movement of their delivery, 
it looks the same as if they're going to pitch when they go to third. Brady is sixth appearance out of the bullpen. The pitch. Dirty. Done. Dirty. And safe. Ooh. Great job. All that. Yeah. Start sliding early too. Popo popo? Like right little Canadian maple syrup in that one or what? That guy's never faced the <laughs> Power of the red leaf. Sid the kid might have been proud of that one. Sometimes those sidecar guys though, they don't want to throw it hard on purpose. Because then it elevates. Jed Bradford, Jed Bradford said he purposely does not want to throw the ball more than 82 miles an hour because when he does, it elevates and then they get banged. That's 102. This guy struggles with slider. He can have the guy on deck. Yes, yes, yellow! Coming to you! Ground ball coming, Sammy. Tony's got the guy on deck no matter what. You walk off, all right? It's a hell of a run. I did, all right. Yeah. yeah. I think I gave it to myself. It yeah, that. you did. <laughs> pitch. Pitch walk. Here you go. Nice job, man. Job. Nice job. Okay. Walk yeah. off. You're in that one. Got hat out. Okay, we're gonna go fast away, change away with him. Okay, we might. If I get a little frisky, we'll flip a breaking ball for him. Just first pitch, just to oh, just yeah. to screw with him. He's not okay. Out. I'm going to flip a breaker first pitch, and we save the change for later. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Let's get him down, dude. We'll go, fucking locate. Yeah, we'll go first pitch breaker, outer half, first okay. strike. Yeah, now we're going to start just rattling them from there. Let's go. Hey, you understand what we're saying? When those guys keep swinging and swinging, especially later in the game, if go. you're starting to fatigue, you've got to set your sights lower. You can't just try to keep repeating the same pitch because, I mean, fatigue is going to get your legs, and it's going to back up the release point, and then stuff will start to elevate, and that bails that guy out. So when you feel yourself, especially on the back end, when you know that we're going hitter to hitter, it's essentially now pitch to pitch. Make the adjustments up here to see that you're doing something different instead of just trying to go to the same spot each time. Okay, good. Good boy. Let's go uh, about 45 to an hour tonight. So knock it out pretty good. Hank makes me wear this microphone. I don't wear this microphone all year. What happens tonight? Earn run. No feel. No feel. Smitty, make it look easier. When you get opportunities in games like this to work on something that you don't necessarily get a chance to in most of the games, because if it's tight, we're actually we're gonna go with our best stuff. But with two strikes, bounce it. Bounce it. Your catcher was asking me for that pitch, and I was thinking the same thing. Bounce that thing, and that guy's got no chance. We're just blowing him up with fastballs the whole night. It would have been the perfect time to get him to chase and give you a chance to start to develop something else where now that goes into someone else's scouting report. We'll work to finish you with breaking ball down, too. So now they got to fight against a couple different things there. Okay? A little more killer instinct. we got to get a little more killer instinct as a group. All right? got to make adjustments. The slider starting to elevate a little bit there for you time to time. Got to find a way to get that thing down. You get it down to that guy, you probably reel off about seven or eight more zeros up there. But one bad pitch, sometimes you see, and that's where the concentration is. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your guy's effort. The effort's there, but the concentration has to continue to improve, has to continue to evolve. That team, to me, is very marginal where you can pitch to one side of the plate on them. But where'd they hurt us? When we elevated. Every time it was down, it was ground out or punch out. Ground out or punch out. The game won't change. But we need to do things better. That'll that'll limit your pitch count. When you just go out there and you bury that guy with that first one. Right? Get that thing in the dirt, and that whole thing changes. Know what your expectations are for yourself, and use yourself as your measuring stick. Because if we do what we're supposed to, it doesn't matter who we play. We'll have success. Got it? Cool. Break it out. Let's get it. Staff on three. One, two, three. Staff. On your jobs, on your jobs. We will have scouting report tomorrow. I'll let you know the times. Got to make a couple adjustments on some of those hitters.